Hi family, hi friends and loved ones, wherever this uh, video we meet you, this is Pastor Gloria, Pastor Gloria Emma, pardon me, I speak too fast, pardon me, okay? So my name is Pastor Gloria Emma and I'm, uh, by privilege I'm to go and preach against adultery. I'm the privileged pastor via the God Ministry Headquarters, Spain, okay? Uh, this, uh, we're in episode 4, okay? And today's talking about taste, taste. Taste, taste is sweet or is not sweet? Is it sweet or not? Is it beautiful or not beautiful? Okay, I love something here. I have an inspiration from First Samuel chapter 25, verse 25. I'm always fast because I don't want it to be too long, okay? Say, so let not my Lord, First Samuel 25, 25. How big I was talking to David who was on a mission to wipe away her household and neighbor, the husband of Abigail, of Abigail household. And so Abigail said, let not my Lord, I pray, the regard this man of Belia, even Naba, for his name is, so as his name is, so is he. Naba is his name, is fully with his with him. But I that had made so not the young man of the Lord, of my Lord, whom thou has sent. See, see, just look at the way I'm reading it. This was a woman describing her husband as a fool. He said the husband is a fool, he's a foolish man, his name. That the husband was named inside his mother's belly. His mother called, his whoever that named the husband, named the husband according to the fool in that. He said that from inside the womb that the husband was a fool. Isn't that, I'm reading from what Abigail was trying to, I'm only trying to help Abigail explain. Okay, why? Okay, see verse 31 here, oh my pain. He said, Abigail was talking to David, was able to consult David to not to revenge. That was wisdom there on the other side, okay? But the verse 31 is my grief. Abigail now said, uh, this shall be no grief. He spoke to David, he said, David, this shall be no grief, uh, no offense of heart unto my Lord that, that, that you have shared blood cost Lord, that my Lord has offended you said, but when the Lord shall have dealt with my Lord, then remember that I had made him. The wife of Naba was telling David, I love you. Uh, after God has given you a uh, victory over this, my husband called Naba. After his case, he settled out of this world. And uh, remember me, I'm lawyer. See the way I look beautiful. Tests, okay. If you will not commit adultery, and immorality, let me put my camera away. I hope I'm okay. Your test of who you marry. Seriously, sir. Don't force your son to marry a pastor daughter. Or force your daughter to marry a pastor son. I want to encourage, yes, encourage, yes. Pray for them, yes. Introduce, yes. But say you want them to be a believer and you not force somebody that's not their taste. Test, test, desire force. Okay. My husband desire me and marry me. Bible talked about it shall be the bone of his bone and flesh of his flesh. Most people have problem marry from day one because they were just mensch. And you think it's match making. It didn't match. Even the ones that even find themselves are still fighting serpent. Adam and Eve that God created. Serpent ticket. Talk less of the one you created. You went and bring a pastor daughter and a pastor son. You now mesh them. Both of the cataracts. And you are cementing them during the time of courtship. You have even noticed that they could not even do courtship. They even ate the forbidden food. You cover for them. Because you want it to be said that your, your mother a, a pastor daughter or a pastor son. And when they come into the union, they are cat and rats. If you don't marry your test, you commit adultery. You hear it very well. When you marry your test, you are already fighting. Uh, because they say, well, I'll, I'll, I'll come to that. They say, how long they said you will stay. You begin to desire something fresh. That's why your papa of 85 is looking for 72. He's looking for 16 years. 85 years old man. You are seeing old men divorcing these days. Even the richest of the richest, they are, they are divorcing because their emotions are broken apart. And talk less of you just started without a desire, without a relationship, without this one doesn't like this one at all, this one doesn't like this one at all. And you merge them and you say, Come on, marry. And you, young girl, we are telling you to wait for your partner. You want to force yourself to marry a man who has no value, who doesn't believe in you. After that, my demand, a young dedicated believer. The man will tell you, if I see you go to church again, all pastors are fake. You knew it before you entered. A young lady told me that the guy said, I'll be coming to your church because I love you. Give me space. Come and come to my house. And she said, no, the guy said, I will not come to church. I said, that's not a so you are to win. He came to win you to set up. Run away from him. So, test for today. Don't be much make or force make or title make as sons and daughters of pastors. The fact that somebody is a son of pastor. Although a pastor does not make the bunny gay. Most times they are hardened, hardened it. They don't even have anything to do with God. Because the life of their father and their mother, secret, has actually defied their mind towards God. And that's a what for another day. 
Okay? Marry somebody that you can feel for, not you will sleep with. Because it is that chemistry that was there from the relationship onset that will make the marriage last. Anytime there's an issue, both of you connect again, it still click. Don't marry because you want to belong to the elite group. Marriage is more than that because if it's money or name you want to make, you can make it without being married to any special. So it's better for you to marry by taste. Okay? To avoid immorality on this episode for marry somebody that you are hungry of. Somebody you are even waiting, quickly praying and fasting and planning marriage. Not just for bed. Somebody you can stay with, you don't want to go. Even in caution. Even when you're outside, you want to stay to cheese. Not only on bed. Bed is not secondary. The one that you can be attractive because bed go tired on a one day. The one that you can be attractive to. The one you hear the voice inside your system is shaking. Not the one you don't want to hear the voice. You are waiting for a marriage date and you don't even want to discuss. You cannot discuss for one hour and you are waiting for a marriage date. Which marriage? It is from that marriage both of you will fight. Okay? So you must have this love, this, this affection, this... There's something about this person that wants you to stay together. Uh -huh. Because if you don't find it in marriage, you'll find it in adultery. Your friend, husband will switch you. Your friend will go. So that thing you were looking for, you didn't see, but you married because you want to maintain a standard, a title, a name. That you'll find it in another man and you will commit adultery. Even if you're a prophetess. Remember so many prophetess when you don't run, leave husband. You don't see pastor when you don't run, leave your wife. They cannot be waiting they find money in so many cases. So for today's episode 4, marry your tastes. God bless you. My name is Pastor Gloria M1. If you have questions, you can send it. God bless you. And love you guys. Shalom everyone.